Creations. Today we're going to be doing bubble art, two types of bubble art. This is so fun. I love doing bubble art and I hope you love it too. I'm going to be showing you there's two types of bubble art today and and this is all the things we need. You this is all going to be available in your home and we're going to have so much fun making these. For the bubble painting, we will be needing bowls, paints, and dish soap. You can use paint palettes like this one, but they're a bit small and you need the top to be wider. So we don't need them. You can use any wide top bowl you have in your house. Anything could work for this art and it's really fun. And you need dish soap. It's very important so you can actually make the bubbles. Paints. You need paints. They're so nice and colorful. And you need straws to blow and uh, to make bubbles. And then we're going to be, and now we're going to be making them. Friends, the most important thing is paper, of course. You can use white paper, but if you have thin paper like this one, you have to be extra careful not to get the page too wet because the paint can be runny and we want to be careful. Friends, I have this pa these papers available in my home, so I'm going to be using these. You can use thick paper, they'll, they'll work way better. Any paper can work though. In the second art we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you, you how to make foam with a bottle and a sock. So friends, right now we're going to be doing the bubble painting art. For this, we will need the straws, paints, bowls, and dish soap. So we'll get to it. Friends, you can use any color of paint. It's totally up to you. But if you don't have that much paint, you can use the primary colors and mix them to make the secondary colors. Friends, you can put all of your colors into the bowls. And remember, if you, you can use the primary colors to mix as well. You don't need much paint. Friends, now put some washing up liquid inside your paints. About this much will be enough into all of them. Friends, then mix them all together with the dish up. Friends, first I'll mix the paints and the dish soap like this and then make bubbles. And then get your sheet. And then put it at the edge of your bowl and then... Friends, don't do it very fast. Do it very slowly. And then you, the leftover bubbles you can pop with your finger. And see the cool print it left? You can use as much as colors as you like to do this and fill the whole page. Now I'm going to be using a different color. You can use the color you want. And now let's start.
my bubble art painting. Isn't, isn't it so beautiful with all the colors? I'm going to let this dry. Meanwhile, we can do our next bubble art painting. For the other way of doing bubble art, you need a bottle. Cut it in half and a stock. So we have to put the stock over the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> you can overlap the sock around the bottle. We don't need the cap. <laughs> oh my. We, so this is what we're gonna get, get after. We need a sheet of paper. Friends, dip it into the liquid like this. And now blow. See that? It's so nice. Friends, let the bubble settle down. And meanwhile, let's prepare the other colors. Oh yeah, now it's time for the blue. If you like, you can pop it a little bit with your finger, not too much so. Now, um, now we're going to be using the green. For the red. Looks a bit like a pink. Friends, I finished this beautiful bottle bubble painting. Now we're going to let this dry and I'll show you the after results soon. bubble paintings I um, this is the one I made with the foam and the bottle and this is the one I made with the straw I hope you enjoyed this beautiful artwork friends I hope you liked today's fun art video if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share if you haven't and we also ring on the notification bell so you don't miss whenever we upload thanks for watching bye